Okay, must go. Okay. Go for it. Okay, so this is Paranoia Contagion. It's a, um, well, at the moment it's a uh, working title. I haven't thought of one that I feel fits it mm, perfectly yet. Yeah. Um, basically, it's going to be like a horror story, kind of in the vein of Evil Dead. Um, like, you know, a lodge that's um, cut off from society in, you know, in the middle of nowhere but with kind of a science fiction twist. Um, instead of like um, possessions, there would be like a body snatcher in the vein of invasion of body snatchers. Um, I've, I've, I particularly like the, um, the kind of um, isolated themes you get from it being, you know, cut off in the middle of nowhere. There's no help for you to, you know, run to. Um, and also there's the whole paranoid aspect of like um, somebody right, right next to you could be the alien or they could um, you know or, or they are innocent they could be just somebody fine um, and that also ties into like um, I feel it's it's kind of an easy kind of way to bank on the whole um, virus aspect of um, like like um, kind of like a, a, a new way of like capitalizing on the whole Ebola fear at the moment because um, essentially like um, uh, what well, well I, there's a twist at the end of my story I'll get to that uh, and then I'll explain how the virus relates there um, so yeah those are my influences and I feel that it could be a 15 um, I would have gone for a 12, but um, looking on the um, BBFC guidelines, um, it says no sustained like horror, no sustained like horror or terror, um, you know, f for a long period of time. So 15 is probably the way to go, and I feel that covers the um, kind of terror and intense aspects of um, of the implied themes of the story pretty well. Um, so Act One is a, a group of um, friends. They're movie geeks. They um, they're trying. They're going to um, one of their friends' lodges um, out in the middle of nowhere because they've heard about this um, new disease outbreak that's um, currently killing everybody. And they just want to get away, have a good time, and just watch a few like horror movies, like haunted house movies. Just get them in the atmosphere. Just have a little a a, a group party fun. Um, However, um, suddenly all the lights go off, and um, one of their friends is now missing, which would lead to Act 2. Um, they search for their missing friend, and he turns up, but like they're confused because he seems like really cold and distant, and um, they're, they get paranoid that he's trying to, to drug them. And... Um, uh, it, the the whole lights going off again. Um, suddenly he's dead, and uh, another person is acting suspiciously. Um, and at this point, uh, the remaining um, uh, friends uh, get together and, using their movie knowledge, they come to the conclusion like maybe he's been body snatched, and um, so the, they're all, all paranoid, and they can't find him anymore because he's ran off and they feel that he's probably heard of them. Um, so they go to try and grab um, who they are now dubbing the alien, and um, he reveals to them that, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to you know, infect the whole of the human race, starting with you. But they, they end up, um, they kind of snap out of it, and it turns out it's all a fever dream, but the whole lodge they're at is, um, just a quarantine zone, and they're with um, everybody else there, and they've just, they're just having a, like a delusion. And that's all I've got. Can you get back to one? Sorry.
Um, you're writing the demographic, aren't you, that you want for this film? 18 to 21, is that right, more or less? Um, 18 to 21, but I feel you could go lower to a 15. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, this is for a particular... So what is it that really appeals to you about this kind of story? You, you obviously want to make this. It's the, para it's the paranoia of, like, you know, you're, you're stuck in an isolated, um, you know, em environment with all, the, with all these people. Uh, who, who you feel you can trust, yeah. but you can't trust because there's somebody there who isn't. Who is this actually about? Um, unfortunately, I don't have like a clearer cut of the characters yet. Right. I think that's that's the weakness at the moment, which you realise you you got you know got a protagonist that we we can fix on yeah. and believe their journey. Is it the person who owns the lodge? Is it one of the friends? Uh, is it the person who gets? becomes the alien or, or whatever. Yeah, I, I, yeah I, I, I do feel you're, you've got like an a, a extremely valid point there. <laughs> I, I feel um, that the person who should be the protagonist of the story should be like one of the uh, friends. Not, not one of the infected ones, but just one of them who's like, you know, wait a second, you might be a body snatcher. So what I, what I think I like about this is that uh, You've got an un you, you, a neat twist at the end. They've all been infected, and as it turns out, none of them are dead. They're all there. Pretty high concept. Um, you can't um, work backwards from there, really. Yeah, unfortunately, up to that point, I feel I've seen it before a mm. thousand times. So there's a kind of a little bit of a kind of this is the inevitable. Um, what would what would help me say this is not the usual thing is because I I have a lead character and I want to go on that character's journey. It's a bunch of mates, they watch horror movies. I always get, I get really cheesed off when these people always sit down to watch horror movies in, in a kind of scary house. I wouldn't do that myself. So <laughs> I, it's, it kind of it irritates me. Um, I don't care about them enough. I don't care what happens to them. Um, I do think you've got a point about everybody's uh, everybody's fears around infection and contagion, bird flu in the north, Ebola. Beware when you're on camera and making a picture saying capitalising on Ebola. Uh, you probably wouldn't want to go out with that one. I think that's um, the wrong word. Yeah, that might be the wrong word. Uh, but, but I think y you have a point about people's fears, so there's something in there. That would be my comment. I mean, yeah, I, I agree. I think it's an there's an idea there. That's what it is, it's an idea, it's not a story. Yeah, um, that's right. Yeah. I totally agree with that. Yeah, yeah. So I like the idea that actually they're already in quarantine and it's just one of these night terrors or something like that. I don't get where the body snatcher element comes into it. Do you know what I mean? And it's how you make that transition at the end from us believing something into going to something totally different. Where's the reference at the start? So you look at any great films like Fight Club. Or, um, or even recently, you know, Cabin in the Woods. They bring in a whole other plot twist sort of halfway through, when it's because where it follows a group of students going to a cabin to kick back, it's going to be great, um, and then all of a sudden it flips on its head. Yeah. What you need to work out is the ending is there. I like the fact that they're in this. They're already they've already been contaminated. It's how are you going to make how you know reference that somewhere in the film, like near the start, without the view again, oh, that's where it's going. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You've got, it's like, it's like you've got to drop enough breadcrumbs. Yeah, yeah. I've just dropped one breadcrumb. You've just dropped a massive bomb at the end. Which, and I like, I like the twist at the end. Yeah. But it's just, you haven't left the breadcrumbs. Yeah. Um, and the other thing I want to say to you is that, and I know you like horror, and I know you've got this genre and this particular age group in mind, but you could do that film without it being a horror. The one where there's something that everybody's afraid of, they work it out, and then it, it emerges that actually they've all been they've all been subject to whatever it is yeah. they're scared of. The so Event Horizon, one of the scariest films that I've seen. It's a horror, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's a, it's a sci-fi horror. Yeah. And you go into it thinking it's gonna be one thing, and then all of a sudden flips on its head and it taps into each individual crew member's scariest nightmare. Yeah. That's kind of what you need to do. You need to make Event Horizon, but in a you know, cabin, yeah, in a lodge. That's what you need to do. Huh. Do, you, do you see what I mean? Yeah, I do. 
and the only event horizon is that actually you're all stuck here now and you have to deal with me and that's the end hmm. and that's a perfectly fine ending there's no resolution at the end um, that's what you think about but I like, I like that thought I like, I, I like, yeah, I like the twist having, character, person, who's it about why do we care those are the big, big questions yeah Alright? Yeah. Cool. Alright. Can you 